it's like I don't know where to stand because when I stand too close let's see if it will adjust then I feel like I'm like really really glowing but if I go back, then the lighting gonna be crap. That's not bad. Okay, hey guys, what is up? It looks like it's about to thunderstorm. I heard a couple rumbles, so I was like, it's coming, it's happening, and then nothing. It's just, it's so incredibly dark out, and I just randomly decided very last minute that I wanted to vlog. Here's the deal, okay? I'm just gonna sit down in the middle of my floor. I feel like, obviously, I've been sharing my vlogs with you guys two times a week, and you guys have seen a decent bit of my life, but at the same time, I just feel like we haven't really chatted. I just feel like all my vlogs recently have been really planned of like, I'm going hiking this day, I'm only gonna film hiking. Oh, my garden soil's arriving, I'm only gonna film that. And I just feel like they've been very specific, which personally, I like those vlogs. But sometimes, I like vlogs that are just someone talking the whole entire time. And I just feel like I wanna give you guys a couple life updates, share some things, just like shoot the shit essentially. And yeah, first thing, I need to check on my vegetables upstairs. I haven't even shared that on the vlog. Is it because I said upstairs fancy then immediately grabbed her tennis ball? We can do some zoomies upstairs, huh? Anyways, I started some seeds inside and they're actually growing pretty well. I've got a lot that are popping up now and some are pretty tall. So wanna take a look at them and show you guys. I'm just gonna apologize for the terrible lighting this whole entire video because the lighting is garbage. Give me that ball. You gotta give me the ball. You can see there's two other tennis balls down there from Fancy doing this. Wait for it. My tomato plants are popping. So this is a ridiculous guide to what is planted in here. I realize it's pretty hard to read, but this whole section right here are tomatoes. So that's what's popping up first are all my tomatoes. We've got a little one coming in right here. What is this? Purple sweet pepper. These are eggplants. So we see something there. There's something right there. I don't even know if you guys can see that. It's so, so tiny. But right in there, what is that one? Banana peppers are all these. So we have progress, we have growth here. And then over here, this is actually filled with all different kinds of jalapenos. So we got some jalapenos are popping up. Not too much progress over there. Nothing like the tomatoes. The tomatoes went a little bit uh, crazy. In the past, I've tried to start plants inside and actually, so I've grown vegetables for two technically three years because i didn't do it last year but two seasons so the first season i didn't do any of my own seedlings inside i just bought from the store planted them directly into my garden and some of them i did start from seed in my garden but i haven't or i didn't transplant that year so then the following year i decided to start some inside and I had a couple plants live. I ended up having to go to the store and buy plants because they did not make it. And I think I didn't allow them to fully harden off because when you start them inside, you need to then get them used to the weather outside. And there's a whole process you have to go through to harden off your plants so that they actually survive when you transplant them in the ground. This year, we have a few started inside. I have to thin them out, meaning that some of these actually have three plants growing out of them because I did two or three seeds in each to make sure that there was something that was going to be successful. So the ones that have three plants, obviously I have to just thin it down to one successful plant per butt. We have progress, we have got a growth. The ones that aren't popping yet, I'm a little worried just because, well, I've got probably like a month, but even that, that's not a lot of time because they need to be like decent size and then harden them off and then transplant them. So I don't really know if I'm gonna have enough time for the other ones. We will see, I'm gonna keep my eye out on it. Fancy girl is just playing back here. Huh, you cute girl, aren't you the cutest? You are so cute. I love you. Do you have any life updates you want to give people? No? Okay. You're going to go see Atticus this weekend. You're going to love it, huh? Atticus and you are going to have so much fun. Atticus is Fancy's fur cousin. I almost said nephew. He's my nephew. Fancy's fur cousin. We're going to the lake. Yeah. Actually, by the time they see this, we will already be back from the lake. But I love you. You're so cute. Next up, where do we want to sit? It's definitely thundering. I'm just like waiting for it to pour, waiting for it to pour. But maybe if we sit at my desk, then I can actually turn on my little ring light here. 
Okay, you guys, couple things. Really nothing too crazy that I wanna update you on. So the first one, uh, if you guys remember back in Vlogmas, I told you that I was buying a lot of land and buying the lot beside my house and that was supposed to close November 30th and then ended up having to be extended because of problems with the title and shenanigans that basically the seller had to deal with. I don't have to do anything over here. I'm just like sitting waiting until we can close. But we ended up signing an addendum to get that extended or the closing extended because they were running into some problems and that addendum actually ended in in February and I just signed another one to extend it until April 30th. So I still have not closed on the lot beside my house. That will be happening for sure. It's just like, I'm waiting on a couple of things. There's nothing I can do and yeah. So I just kind of wanted to give you an update with that. Another thing in terms of home ownership. Uh, I've gotten some questions about how I was able to buy a house with being self-employed, owning my own business, all of that stuff. So if you have ever been self-employed or if you are looking into buying a house in the future, what you need to know is that you need to have the past two years tax returns for a mortgage lender to look at to approve you for a mortgage essentially. And as you guys know, in 2018 and 2019, I was not making much money with my business. And if you take a look at just both those tax returns, I would not be able to afford to buy a house. So for this house, actually, we were approved for this loan. Uh, my name is also on it, as well as my ex, because it was based off of his salary. So since he was a salaried employee, all he had to do was like, show his like pay stubs and like everything else. I mean, there's there's more that goes into it, by far more that goes into it, but it's a lot easier compared to when you are self-employed. Editing Catherine, popping in here, even though I look the exact same with just a different white crew neck on and my hair still in a bun, but I wanna clarify something. So if you guys have been following my journey for a while or if you're just curious, this is actually my second home that I have owned. It is the only home that I own right now, but the second home that I have bought. So my first home that I purchased in 2017, I was still working a full-time job and my brand was my side hustle. So in terms of proving my income for a mortgage, it was based off of that full-time salary as well as my ex's full-time salary combined what we could afford and we got a mortgage together. When we got this home, we took the money from the sale of our first home and we put it down as the deposit on this home, not all of it, but part of it, down as the deposit on this home and he was solely approved just because it was gonna be significantly more complicated to prove my income and based off of his salary, he could get approved for a loan and then both of us were put on the mortgage. I'm hoping that makes sense more information from past Catherine. Since I decided to buy my ex out of the house, obviously I need to switch the mortgage over into just my name. And since I had gotten this question in the past, I figured let's address it. So yes, the mortgage is being switched over into my name. As soon as the divorce was finalized, I contacted my mortgage guy and said, what do I need to do? How do I prove my income? Like, what's the deal here? So he had me send over the two previous year's tax returns, which at the time I only had my 2018, 2019. I had to send the past three months of bank statements for my business bank account. I had to send the last three months profit loss statement from my QuickBooks. And I'm not sure if there was anything else, but after all of that, basically what he told me is that that's good and dandy, like I'm making good money now, but what the lender is really going to look at is the past two years tax returns. That's what they look at, the last three months worth of bank statements and profit loss sheet, all of that. They're only taking a look at that to see if your business has been affected because of Corona. I had to wait until my 2020 taxes were filed before I could refinance this house. And thankfully my income was dramatically increased <laughs> in 2020 that the difference between 2019 and 2020, I shouldn't have a problem with refinancing this house or honestly, I don't need to refinance. So they say, I just need to remove that one borrower because I am already a borrower on the loan. Anyways, my uh, CPA ended up doing my tax return. I tried to get her stuff as soon as possible. So you guys would have seen that vlog where I was filling out all the tax information, ended up sending it over to her and she got my taxes filed 
my gosh, before March, I think she was like on it and the absolute freaking best. So once I had my tax return back, I had to then send over my tax return and my 1099s for this past year. I'm not sure if I'm going to need to send over more information like the past three months of my profit loss or my bank statements since it's been a couple months since I talked to well, I mean, it's been two months since I talked to my mortgage guy, but we'll see. Just in case you were one of those people that asked me, how do you get a mortgage when you are self-employed? That's it, you need your past two years tax returns. It's not a fun process, but I mean, it's gonna be worth it. And I already bought my ex out of this house. So I paid him for his half in terms of the down payment on this house and like everything else. I mean, it's just like a not fun, complicated payment, but he's fully bought out. So this house is mine. The last thing I have to do is just switch the mortgage over to me. And then hopefully I can also switch the deed over into just my name, but there you go. I have nothing else to say on that. <laughs> little fancy girl is laying right beside me. I think because she's a little freaked out from the rain and the thunderstorm. So I think I'm gonna move this work party to the couch. Huh, I gotta edit a thumbnail and we can snuggle. She looks sad. Look at that cute face. Come here, come on. Good girl. Fancy is allowed on the couch without blankets. I'm pretty sure I've told you guys this before. Fancy's allowed on the couch without blankets, but she thinks that all blankets are heated and prefers to lay on the couch with a blanket. So blanket is out for her. It's just, she's a little diva. Anyways, today, what did I have going on? Oh, I had to edit a vlog and I ended up getting that vlog scheduled. So I edited the vlog and then I did the thumbnail, got it scheduled. I'd respond to comments and then I wanted to film a reel today, but we are coming up on that time of the month and every every month my chin just like goes psycho so my chin just has too much and I didn't want to put makeup on it and just like irritate it and make it worse so I decided I wasn't going to film a reel today I wanted to I was like motivation Monday this is gonna be great but then my face said not today so not today but I really want to post on Instagram I was doing so good guys last week I posted five days in a row on Instagram like who the heck am I and now I haven't posted in three days so I should post something today and I have an older photo that I think I'm going to use. And by older, I mean, I think I took it like maybe two months ago or something and I've just never posted it. So maybe today's the day and I'll post that. Guys, I've really moved on from having a fully matching aesthetic Instagram feed, but at the same time, I upload every photo to UNUM to make sure that it looks half decent, okay? It's not perfect, but like it looks half decent and that's that's all I care about. At this point, I'm just rambling. Like, are you guys still watching this? This is very low energy Catherine giving you life updates. You know, that's what, that's what this is. Let's see, what do we wanna watch? Do I wanna put on a movie? Guys, I might move up Sushi Tuesday to today because I'm just not feeling like making dinner. I've made dinner like the past three or four nights, which is a big win for me. So I don't feel like making dinner, but I did post my photo on Instagram. Does match my grid. It looks cute. My grid has shifted so much recently. Like, let me take a, I'm gonna take a screenshot and then put it on the screen for you guys. This is what my feed used to look like compared to what my feed looks like now, like all the outdoor photos and even reels popping in there. I've got one black and white photo. It's like, who am I? My management team has changed me. Once they were like, Catherine, stop worrying about your feed and just start posting. It changed me for the better, I will say, but. I've really been trying to make my thumbnails look a bit different. I hit a point within my channel where I felt like every single thumbnail looked the same. So now I'm trying to have fun with them and I'm definitely spending a lot longer on them. And I think it's cute. It's very much so like text in your face, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's gonna get clicks. At first I was gonna say something like, and that's the tea because I'm drinking matcha, but I decided against it. I feel like sponsorships 101 is just clear, concise, and nice, wow. But with that done, I am gonna be done with work for the day. So I'm gonna close that down and I really don't have anything else that I want to do. So maybe I'll just like puzzle and chill out for the night. That actually kind of sounds, kind of sounds nice. I do have to start a new puzzle. So I've got three to choose from. Are we thinking Italy? Italy? Not much interest. Raindrops, not much interest. 
Vance, you're not helpful right now. I don't know what one I'm more in the mood for. I feel like the raindrops one could be really fun, but I also feel like Italy is a good one. I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna go with raindrops and then hopefully I can finish it in just a few short days. You know what, I should have some wine too, because I have about a bottle of wine open. This puzzle, I do think will be hard though. I guess there's some variations. I think this pink area, I'm gonna pre-call it. I think this pink area may be one of the hardest because it seems the largest of not a lot of change in color. We'll see. Well, we've made some serious progress tonight. This whole area, I'm missing this one piece in here, plus several different, um, excuse you, ma'am, no, 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 thank you. Several pieces on the edge. I'm just totally missing, but I really didn't pay that much attention and I just decided to pull out all the greens and work with that. So this is what we've got going for us. And now this little girl has been crying because it's bedtime, huh? Let's go to bed.